hi everyone welcome back to the channel thank you for joining me for today's video and I hope you're all doing well um I know that like this is another video where I'm not really I'm just like sat talking but I am hoping to like get back out and do something um hopefully very soon okay so I think I said in my last video that I was going to Liverpool Comic Con um on Sunday just gone um, I also think I said that I wasn't going to vlog the um, day because I kind of wanted to just um, enjoy myself and not have to worry about making a video. Um, so basically what I'm going to be doing today is talking about like my highlights of the day and also showing you guys um, all the things that I bought there, okay? So um, let's get into the video. So I suppose um, my first highlight um uh, was seeing all of the like the cosplayers and you know just sort of admiring what they've done um in terms of making their costumes for the day honestly some of them are amazing um i went as wednesday adams um it wasn't like sort of too out there it was just kind of like my own version of her so i had um long black dress and i had my own like collar on the dress and hair and pigtails and that it wasn't sort of accurately Wednesday Adams but it was like an interpretation of her um yeah that was and then Becky um she was gonna be Ellie from The Last of Us um but then she couldn't find a t-shirt um like for it so she just had a last of us t-shirt on and i have to say she got a lot of attention for it a lot of people were complimenting her for it um on one of the stalls um we had a conversation with a guy um who was working on the stall about um, the last of us and that i've never actually watched the show and i've never played the game but i've heard only good things about both of them um and I think it has got quite a big fan base out there. I know that my uh, brother and my sister-in-law have watched it, and my dad um, has currently got it on tape, so he's getting he's like um, getting around to watching it. Um, but yeah, I saw a lot of other um, girls dressed as Wednesday. Um, I I saw all kinds of costumes. To be honest, there was like you know Batman, Spider Man. Um, there was also um, people dressed as um, particular characters um, that I'm going to talk about in my that I went to for my meet and greet um, and there was a lot of people dressed as like characters from Stranger Things uh, because they had quite a few guests from Stranger Things there I think it was mainly David Harbour um, and then there was um, I'm just trying to think yeah there was um, oh god, my mind's gone blank. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of superheroes, a lot of like, um, a lot of people dressed as Wednesday, um, a lot of, uh, there was some Disney characters as well actually. There was two um, great people who were dressed uh, as um, Aladdin and Jasmine. And I also saw um, the characters from Brave and also Ariel from The Little Mermaid and Cinderella as well. Um, and again, some people just kind of make their own costumes as well. They don't necessarily have to be um, someone from a film or a show or like a book and things like that. I think it also kind of um, goes with whatever uh, people are there for a meet and greet, if that makes sense. Um, so um, Christina Ricci, who played Wednesday in the 1991 film of the Adams Family, she was there and obviously Tim Burton's Wednesday on Netflix is really popular at the moment as well and that's why a lot of people were dressed as Wednesday and honestly um, I'm pretty much Wednesday Adams in my day to day life, <laughs> um, you know I'm um, a little bit like gothy and that, I know I don't really look at today because I have a bright purple t-shirt on but yeah uh, I really enjoyed uh, dressing like Wednesday and a lot of it was really interesting seeing a lot of the a lot of the cosplayers there and just like i say admiring the, like what they've done to go into the costume and how much detail they've put into it 
Um, I really wish that I could do that kind of stuff for it, but like, um, I just need like inspiration for it as well. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was one highlight. Um, it's not, the next thing I'm going to talk about is not really a highlight, it's just kind of like, um, more of like a, a good thing that I'm going to say. Um, me and Becky had a really nice lunch at Comic Con as well. It was just chicken and chips, but, um, yeah, it was really, really nice. Um, and it was a good value for money as well. Um, and then after that, we just kind of like, um... It was just nice to kind of like chill out and that, you know, just because we'd done quite a bit of walking at this point, uh, just around like the arena as well. But uh, that is another thing I forgot to say. It was actually in the exhibition centre in Liverpool, um, which is kind of all uh, connected to the MS Bank Arena. Um, and yeah, I've been in the before, um, before this Comic Con that I went to. Uh, we went to one in 2020. Um, where I met Elijah Wood from Lord of the Rings um, but this video is just about the one that I went to uh, on Sunday so I'll get into that one but yeah we had a really nice lunch um, and uh, and like I say it was just nice to like chill out for a little bit because we'd done quite a bit of walking at this point and so we just wanted to have a little sit down and both of us were quite uh, hungry at this point as well um, and I think they also had a stall that did like hot dogs and that um and then there was also like cold food as well you know if you just wanted like a sandwich or a salad and that um i didn't see but i could imagine that they had um a vegetarian or a vegan option um most you know pretty much all food places are required to have at least one um but I didn't I didn't see one but I'm just I'm just kind of assuming that they did possibly on the other stall because uh, they had two they had one uh, that was the chicken and chips which is where me and Becky went to and then they had the other one which is um, where the hot dogs were so I'm kind of hoping that they had one um, around where the hot dog stall was um, but yeah so the food was really really nice that we had and again it was a good value for money um, so again, not really a highlight, but just kind of like a good thing to say about it. The next highlight is the um, stalls and the photo opportunities that I'm going to tell you about. When I say photo opportunities, I mean just kind of like places where you can have your photo took, not necessarily the meet and greets. I'm going to get into that um, in a bit. But yeah, the stalls and the photo opportunities were so, so good. Um, so a lot of the stalls which is where I've got my stuff from here um they had all sorts of like geeky and nerdy kind of things um Becky mainly was looking for um Last of Us stuff and I was looking for um like Chucky stuff because we all know how, how much I love uh, the Chucky films and the series um so yeah Becky also got some stuff for uh, Dan and Paris, um, Ginger and Brown, um, and they really, really liked the stuff that she'd got them, um, and they've actually started to consider maybe going to the one in October as well, um, but yeah, the stalls were all brilliant, they had so many stuff, they had, um, you know, stuff that's like popular now, um, <clears throat> they had <clears throat> lounge fly stalls, um, I'm so sorry, my voice is going, <clears throat> there we go, um, they had lounge fly stalls and I was I was absolutely in my element at that. Um, I didn't actually get a lounge fly bag. Um, mainly because um, I didn't want to sort of go too overboard um, with spending. Although I probably did just unknowingly. Um, but also because I'm part of the lounge fly um, club members at Worlds Apart or Forbidden Planet as it's also known. Um, and so I think subconsciously that's probably why I didn't get a lounge fly bag at Comic Con because I was thinking, well, you know, I can get it a little ch bit cheaper if I order it through Worlds Apart or if I go into the sh into into the shop. Uh, but yeah, they did have quite a bit of choice and also some ones that I've not actually seen in in Worlds Apart yet. So part of me did think maybe I should have got one, but also um, 
another part of me is thinking, well, you know, I could get them for a little bit cheaper um, in the shop as well. So yeah, they had lounge fly stalls, they had um, like t-shirt stalls, they had, um, you know, just like key rings and all sorts of stuff for like your hair and things like that. They had scrunchies, kind of similar to the ones that I've got from Fizzle Gig Studio um, on Instagram. And then um, they had like, you know, sort of stalls that had um, reusable cups and that. Um, but I'm not going to sort of go into too much detail because I want to show you guys what I did get from the stalls. So yeah, stalls were a good highlight and also the photo opportunities. Um, me and Becky got um, some good photos in the in-betweeners car that they had there. Um, if you don't know about the in-betweeners, it was basically um, like... I, I, I don't know if it, it wasn't really, I don't know if I'd call it a sitcom, but um, it was a show that was on um, Channel 4 when I was about um, 11, 12. Um, I didn't actually watch it at that age because it was, it's quite a, it, some of those things that they say on it is, not really suitable for 11 year olds so I did watch it a little bit as I got in as I got uh, into my teenage years so it's like a show that I grew up with um and I remember being on the telly and that but yeah it was a really funny show back in the day still watch it a little bit now but um not as much and yeah they had they had um Simon's car there and I'm just gonna put the photos on now Yeah, they actually had um, in the car as well, they had some stuff written on it that was written by the um, four guys in the show and that's um, Simon Bird, James Buckley and oh gosh my mind's gone blank, oh, I can't remember the other two guys but yeah, um, it was things like Car Friend, that's the one that I remember the most, I can't really, I actually can't remember what else they had written in there. Um, but yeah, that was uh, it. Was a a lot of people were um, taking some interest in that. Um, they also had um, sort of Wednesday Adams photo opportunities, which we didn't go to. We didn't actually come across them at this point. Um, and they had Mo's Tavern from The Simpsons as well. Again, we didn't actually see that, so we didn't get the photo opportunities. Then we were kind of um, intrigued by the in between us car, to be honest. But yeah, we went to see that. I um just after we'd had our lunch um just to sort of like you know walk it off and that but yeah it was a really really funny thing to see um and also in the upstairs part there was a lot of stuff to do with gaming as well um i saw this one stall that had all sorts of like film posters and that um and it had all the, like horror films as well so it had uh, the original Child's Play from the 80s so I was like uh, in my element with that and they also had The Shining as well um, so yeah that was um, all interesting to see and then uh, there was actual like like I say gaming where you could actually play games and also just um, you know look at like gaming merchandise and that so if you are interested in gaming I would recommend going um, to see all of that um, kind of stuff there as well and now I'm going to get into my main highlight of the day. And that main highlight is the uh, meet and greet that I had. So my meet and greet photo opportunity was with Corey Feldman. If you don't know who he is, he was quite a big teen star back in the 1980s. Um, him and Corey Haim, who unfortunately has uh, since passed away, um, they were known as the two Corys back then and Corey Feldman was in films like The Goonies, Stand By Me, The Lost Boys, um, you know all that kind of stuff and anyone who knows me knows how much I love them films especially The Lost Boys. Um, it's a vampire film and um, it's I so badly um, wanted to be like um, so in the film him and Jameson Newlander who was also there as well they were known as the Frog Brothers in the film and I really, really wanted to be the Frog Sister. <laughs> uh, but yes, yeah, so my photo opportunity was with Corey Feldman 
and I have to say he was really really nice to me um uh, he liked my Wednesday costume um and yeah I got a photo with him and he was also doing autographs there as well uh but yeah I only have um, good things to say about him and having and having to and meeting him as well it was like a dream come true for me um so um yeah so Corey Feldman was my main highlight of the day and I'm going to show you guys the photo now so that's it for the highlights and now I'll show you guys the things that I bought as well Okay, so I'm not I'm going to do this in any kind of order. It's just kind of stuff that I'm able to grab. So the first thing that I got is a um, child's play like photo frame, and there is a Lego Chucky there as well. Like, and honestly, I thought that was so cool. They had all sorts of. Uh, they had. I do remember having them having Jaws. Um, and I think um, think things to do with Scream as well. But I also remember they had photo frames um, for, of different films. So, for example, um, they had one frame that was to all three of the main clown characters in horror films. So that was the clown from American Horror Story Freak Show whose name I actually can't remember and I'm really annoyed about that because that was one of my favourite seasons and I can't remember his name um, and then they had Pennywise and they also had Art the Clown from the Terrifier films um, and I thought that was so cool um, you know they just had like all that kind of theme in, in them as well they also had um, photo frames to do with The Last of Us as well. Um, at the same stall as well, uh, Becky actually got um, two bookmarks. And that again, that was The Last of Us because um, that's what she's interested in. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing. And then um, in this same bag, um, let's get them out now. Um, oh, that's, that's, a, that's the thing as well. I also got um, a little leaflet from that stall and it's called the Geek Monkey. Um, there we go. Um, I'm just trying to see if they have like an Instagram page or anything. No, it's just um, thegeekmonkey.com. Um, I couldn't find a thing to do with an Instagram page. Um, <clears throat> and then next thing is two pairs of earrings so let's just get these in in the right way so um first one is chucky earrings as you can see there's his face and then there's like um a meat cleaver um and then i've also got um zero from the nightmare before christmas i thought these were so cute um I was going to get some ghost face ones, but then um, I, I sometimes struggle really bad with dangly earrings and these were quite, like, you know, long earrings. Because um, of my ADHD, it's kind of like a sensory thing for me. Uh, but these were like, um, <clears throat> I think these will be bearable for me, you know, that kind of length. They're not too um, sort of troubling for me. Oh, I thought I'd broken <laughs> Chucky He's fine. Um, then the next thing is this t-shirt. Honestly, I'm so excited to wear this. Um, so it's folded up at the moment. Um, but so there's Ghostface there, and then Jason. Fold it up, okay. and then you've got Chucky, Pennywise, and Billy and Saw and then at the bottom says friends um, and this glows in the dark apparently i haven't actually got it out of its packaging yet obviously so i'm so i am excited to see how it actually does that um a few weeks ago i actually saw a girl um come into work like a customer and she had a t-shirt very similar to this but it was all in color um so it, it wasn't actually a glow in the dark one and I was talking to her about it and she said oh I got it from Comic Con and I was telling her like that I was going in a few weeks um, 
and so I had to pick this one up. Uh, yeah, I'm really ex excited to wear that and it's like, you know, horror themed and that and we all know that like how much I love um, my horror films. Um, um, <clears throat> I got this um, Chucky key ring from there. Uh, that's, there we go. And then I also got, I've been wanting a t-shirt with Michael Myers on for ages. And I finally got one. So it's Halloween and then um, just over that's uh, Michael Myers from the Halloween films. Um, <clears throat> Halloween is one of my favourite horror films of all time. Um, I think it's absolutely brilliant and Michael Myers is probably... He's in my top five of horror villain characters. I don't I don't know how I... Uh, I can never make up my mind about who my favourite after Chucky is. Because it changes all the time, you know, it could be Pennywise one week and then it could be Michael Myers or Jason and that. But yeah, he's definitely uh, in my top um, favourite horror villains of all time. Um, the next thing is from a stall that was called Pixie Dust Emporium. Um, let's just get this out of the box. Also, I forgot to say, the Lego Chucky thing, that was actually the last one on the stall. And because of that, the lady actually gave it to me £5 less. It was 15 and I got it for 10 so not bad at all. Um, now, I'm going to try and show this as best as I can, but I don't want to take it out of the bubble wrap just yet, because um, I want to wait until I actually use it. But this is a, like, mason jar type. Uh, I think, I can't remember what it was called, because um, it's not really a mason jar. Tumblr, that's it, it's on the box. This has got Chucky and Tiffany on, um, who's his wife. Um, and again, this was the last one on the stall. I didn't actually get that one like half price, but it's no biggie. But yeah, the woman was really, really nice. And I also got um, a straw for it as well. Um, she didn't have the straws out on um, display for the glasses. I think just for like, um, you know, health and safety and that, just in case anybody like touched them and that. But yeah, that was very, very um, professional, I thought, of her to do. Um, and then the last thing is from um, We Mac Creations, um, who make sun catchers and hand painted glassware. And this is a again. I'm not taking it out the glass, uh, out, the, out the glass, out of the bubble wrap yet because I want to wait until I'm actually using it. This is a ghost face glass, just a normal glass. Um, again, I'm really, really looking forward to using that. Um, I think I'm going to use one of them possibly tomorrow night just because on a Friday I'd like to have a little drink and that. Um, so yeah, that is all of the stuff that I got from Comic Con. I did get a donut from something called Project Duck from a Soul Kill Project Donut as well, but I'm not going to show that one. Um, I've already eaten it. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a red velvet donut and it was really, really nice. Um, so yeah, I hope that you have enjoyed this video today and like I say, I will try and get back out um, soon but I just need to try and fit it around work and that. Obviously with Easter holidays um, for this week and next week, I am quite busy in work, I'm in quite a few days and that but hopefully I'll be able to do something very soon. Um, so yeah, I've hope, I hope that you have enjoyed this video today and please give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Um, I have also bought my tickets for Comic Con uh, for October this year. Um, I may end up going the full weekend, I don't know. But yeah, subscribe down below if you want to see some more from me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!